Welcome to Juice 34 on Juice Cable Internet. I'm your host, Christopher Manguil, and we're here with Julie Horn. How you doing, Julie? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for having me. Yes, you're here with the Remember For Me organization. Yes. And for those who don't know, tell us a little bit more about the organization and the history behind it. Remember For Me is geared toward helping the caregivers of an Alzheimer's or dementia patient in Hunt County. And we started uh, in 2015, so it's been four years, and my co-founder, Friendly, which most everyone knows, um, he and I uh, joined hands and started this organization, and it's just grown from there, uh, just trying to give support, educational support, emotional support to our caregivers, a service that has not been provided in Hunt County before, so we're really, really excited. And uh, it seems like since the organization has been built, you guys have pretty much hit the ground running yeah. and um, a lot of support from the community. Tell us about the mission of uh, Remember For Me. Well, our mission is to provide support and education for the caregivers. And through education and our caregiver support groups that we have in Hunt County as well, uh, north side and south side, mm -hmm. um, we provide a, a benchmark for them and an ability for them to learn about that this is a long journey. It will be a long journey. We don't uh, you know, sugarcoat anything when we have meetings. We, we are real with them that they're going to have angry times. They're going to have sad times. They're going to have I want to walk away times. Uh, we really bond with our caregivers. And those that aren't able to make a support group, we're always there for them outside the support group. So if somebody can't make it because they can't leave their loved one, then we're welcome you know, times to meet for coffee or for lunch you know, just over the phone conversations. We want to give them a service that's not been offered before. That's awesome, Julie. So let's talk about the upcoming event that you guys have going yes. on with Remember For Me. Yeah, so we're <laughs> super excited. We've had an annual fundraiser in the past. It's been called the Rockathon, mm -hmm. and it's been at Alliance Bank. It's been a uh, free concert, basically. Friendly uh, found about six to eight bands each year. This year, we realized we have been really hot in June, <laughs> and I mean, we've been losing customers and uh, you know people to come out because it was so hot, and then we'd have storms sometime throughout the day. Right. Um, so this time, we decided to take it indoors, and we're really excited because it's going to be at the Emerald Ballroom this year, and we're having a sit-down dinner, catered sit-down dinner, pretty fancy. Uh, we have a band coming from Fort Worth, which is the uh, uh, Band of Brothers, and they're going to be playing some classic country as well as some classic rock and roll, which is right up my alley. So I'm excited to hear that. Uh, we also have some Land and Wine and some beer that will be at the Cash Bar. Everybody that buys the ticket gets a free drink to get your evening started out. Uh, we have a speaker coming in, Danny Mack, who has spoken to our support groups before. And we're just, we're just excited about this event. As a matter of fact, we're really close to selling out. Um, we had tons of sponsors this year, including Juice. Uh, Juice sponsored us and, and is doing a great job, going to fill up the tables. I'm glad to see everybody that's going to come out. And they, we sold probably 75% of our tickets just through sponsorships. So this was the first time for sponsorships awesome. for us, and we're, we're, excited. we're excited. So speaking about um, the proceeds and the tickets, what are the proceeds going to as far as for this event? Okay, the proceeds are for our caregivers. Um, for the supplies of running our support groups. We have educational programs. We bring in speakers for them. We are now offering a respite care program, which respite care is something we provide in the home. Mm -hmm. And we partnered with Family First Healthcare, and they are the ones that provide the professional care, and we provide the financial pay. So the caregivers reach out to us, and we pay for that service for them. So this is gonna continue that annual budget. This was the first year for our respite care because we finally got our budget up to the tier that we needed it to be. Mm -hmm. So this is to continue that service and to add more caregiver services, possibly like um, lawn service or house cleaning services and things like that. And those are like some of the near future things that yes. uh, the organization wants to yes. roll I, out? Yeah, I'd like to roll out the, um, the, the lawn service and the home care uh, in 2020. That's awesome because I know how important those things are for yes. uh, for people here in this community. Yeah, they um, they don't know where to reach out. I mean, my mom was a caregiver for my dad for nine years in Kentucky. Mm -hmm. She had in Louisville is a huge city, and she had all kinds of resources, but very private, not wanting to ask for help or anything like that. So right. we're going to have to ease our way into their lives um, because it's hard for them to open their doors. So we're going to be going through our churches and through our facilities, um, any kind of care group out in the community that may know of somebody that needs help that may be just a little too shy, a little private about what, what journey they're on. 
So speaking of the community, how can the community get involved as far as helping out with the organization? Uh, well, you know, all, volunteers are always needed, yes. and Hunt County is not short of volunteers. We have an awesome, awesome uh, giving back community, and we're so proud of that, but we always need volunteers, creative people, marketing people, compassionate people, mm -hmm. even past caregivers that may have um, cared for a loved one, whether it was a spouse or whether it was a father or mother or grandparent. We welcome you to come if you want to help out with our support groups. Um, there's always a role to be played in our organization. That's awesome. Julie, one more time, plug in that time and date for this upcoming event. Yes, June 13th. It starts at 6, goes until about 9.30. The dinner starts at 6.30, and it's at the Emerald Ballroom. And you can buy tickets on Eventbrite, or you can go to our Facebook page, and you can click on the link there, or just give me a call, and I'll sell you a ticket. Julie, thank you so much for Thanks your time. Thanks again. I appreciate right, it's been a it. Thank you. This video has been brought to you by Juice34. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming. And he was diagnosed in July of 2012. I know something was wrong before that. You want to tell me not in front of Martha and the two daughters, uh, and uh, told me what it was, and yes, it was Alzheimer's. When he was first diagnosed, um, he wasn't having a lot of difficulty. So I just kind of put it in the back of my mind. You know, Carol had lost a couple positions as a registered nurse. We'd gone to her local doctor and, you know, they diagnosed her as, as mild cognitive impairment. So many things go through your mind. First is, what in the world are we going to do? It just creates a situation where you just have to look at your future and you know, know that uh, you, you really don't know, you know what your future is going to hold. I watched my mother for nine years take care of my dad in the home. And even though they lived in a really big city where there's lots of services, it was very hard for her to reach out and ask for help. Remember for Me was created for the sole purpose of helping the caregivers in our community. In our rural area, I quickly found that there are not enough services here to help guide a caregiver through the challenges that they are not even foreseeing that is going to happen to them. Um, some people don't know who to ask, where to go, what questions to ask, what answers to expect. Remember for Me is an organization that cares for caregivers. Caregivers in this, in this country put in so many hours and do so many things, you know, and never rewarded for. So that's where Remember For Me comes in, because we are for that caregiver. We have information for them. We have three support groups in Hunt County. We cover the Commerce area, the Greenville area, and the Quinlan area. Remember For Me has been a good help for me because it's given me tools to use where I can do these things. I've talked to people there that have used different methods and I wouldn't have had that if it wasn't for Remember For Me. And that's what helped me a lot, was, uh, was just being able to know, I'm not alone in this. This is what we need to know. I think Remember For Me has been a blessing to our family. Sometimes it's very reassuring and comforting to get a card in the mail. Remember For Me lets caregivers know that they're not alone, and, and that's a fact. Reach out to us and, and talk about it because it helps to talk about it. You don't feel so alone. If you are a caregiver and just had a diagnosis in your family, reach out to Remember For Me. As I said, we do have the caregiver groups, but you don't have to attend a group to get help. There are several of us that are available by phone. We can meet for coffee, but reach out. That is the key, that you reach out and open your door and to know that we're here to support you.